some great tools today, but remember, these will not make you rich. This is not gonna be like thousands of dollars the next week. This is a great side hustle. And no, you can't quit your nine to five job to do these until you are like thinking longer term or if you just use all of these. They're good tools. So let's just go and start with the first one. The first one is called Mind Rift, and this is all AI, AI training. All the tools today are gonna be related to AI training because there's new AI tools every day, right? We live in a world where everything needs to be automated. That's why we have a lot of these AI tools. But as ChatGPT asks you to give the feedback on the answers, that's how these tools are made. So they need us, all these platforms today, they need us to verify the responses that their tools are giving and you get paid for it. Now you can have certain expertise, for example, in physics and teaching, writing, whatever, but there's also going to be a lot of jobs that don't require any expertise. You're going to get a little bit less money for those because, well, it's not paid as, for example, coding with Python is, but it's still good money, right? And depends on your location, you know, a dollar isn't worth the same everywhere. So what do you have to do on MindRift? You get the guidelines, you get the task, then they will help you along the way. You will have tutors. They will train you before you go on and train AI. Then you complete a task and of course you get paid for it. On MindRift, you get paid twice a month. So that's like bi-weekly and you can withdraw your money at any time. I'm gonna talk about payment methods later on, but what do you have to do with MindRift? Just click on apply now. Then you have to choose for which one of these projects you wanna to apply to. You will have the test for each one of these, whichever one of these you choose. For example, US law, you're gonna get a test for it. Down there, there's coding things, and then there's a lot of these things based on your location. For example, if you're a Brazilian, there's gonna be tasks for you where you will just check those responses, which are in Portuguese. Down there, there's a lot more, such as biology, computer science, writers. This is applicable, applicable to a lot of people. And then there's a lot of these other ones. Whichever one you choose, you just have to fill in this info about yourself, upload your resume. If you have a LinkedIn profile, put it there. If you have a personal website, put it there and submit application. One thing that most people can do is to go to MindRift and click on this writer section. This is you teaching AI how to write, right? So you just check the responses. You use your skills to teach AI what the good text prompt or text response looks like, all right? And all you gotta do is to be good in English, right? When it comes to the payment options, this is Payoneer or Papara. So there's like only two of these now. I think they will add PayPal soon. So yeah, just be on top of it. The next one we know about it is Outlier and seems like Outlier connected with remote tasks. You've probably heard of remote tasks as well. Outlier is over at outlier.ai and there's a lot of work here to be done. Remote tasks is merged somehow and it happened recently. So it's basically the same platform because I wanted to log in with my Outlier account. So if you wanna work on both, just use different emails, right? Maybe use a VPN. On Outlier, you also have categories such as generalists, math, chemistry, coding, history, and there's a lot of these other ones. You just have to make yourself an account. And then there's gonna be a lot of these opportunities. You can choose the location. You can choose languages here. For example, if you are good in Bulgarian, you can just act as a freelance writer for that. And there's a lot of these, just a lot of these, right? Outlier is a source of work. I think this is one of the best ones. You've got three options on Outlier. You can rate and rank the responses that AI gives you. Then you can rewrite the content or you can work with these multimodal ones. This is gonna focus more on images, audio, or video content. On Outlier, it is PayPal and AirTM when it comes to the payment methods. Use different email for Outlier because you wanna do the work as well on remote tasks separately, all right? The tasks are different still. I don't know if this is gonna change in the future or not, but the tasks now are different and you can do both of these at the same time. On remote tasks, you get a tutor as well. So they will teach you what do you have to do in order to complete your tasks and to get paid with it. PayPal and your TM works on remote tasks as well. And on all of these platforms, it's gonna be like this. The more time you invest, the more money you can get out. The better you do your tasks, the more tasks they will give you. 
So yeah, just be serious, dead serious about this one. On remote tasks, though, you've got some more complicated tasks, such as this LIDAR technology, where you will essentially just have to mark the objects. But of course, the more difficult the task is, well, the bigger payment is gonna be, but it's not hard, right? All of these tasks, first of all, they will teach you how to do those. But in a nutshell, it is just navigating the AI to understand what it has to notice and to teach, to train AI so it can just go out to the public, right? It's easy. The third one is probably the oldest one, ClickWorker, probably heard about it, but they've added a lot of training tasks and all you gotta do on ClickWorker is to get yourself knowledgeable about these new tasks if you were doing the work for it before. They have few interesting ones, such as this one, training of eye tracking tools, so this is just gonna be looking at your screen and moving your eyes left to right, right? So this is gonna be fun and so easy to do. And of course, a few other ones, such as facial recognition training. Now, the last one, probably heard about this one as well. It's called Toloka. And this is one of the most, the highest paying ones, but it works the same. Bring real domain expert knowledge to your language models. You basically evaluate the models and you give it feedback, just like on the other ones but Toloka is one of the most popular ones. It also has the simple ones, such as taking pictures, taking videos, but Toloka will give you the tasks based on your region and the demand, right? So companies come over to Toloka in order to test their things, their tools, whatever, and then they will just give you the tasks based on all of that, right? But no special skills are required on this one, but there will be less jobs available and they use Payoneer and Papara as well. Now, lastly, one tool that you can use in order to check yourself, to check your feedback, is perplexity. Because when Toloka or Remote Tasks or whatever gives you a certain task and you're not sure whether the response is good or bad, just use perplexity because perplexity is an AI tool. For me, it's better than ChatGPT and it's free. Because when you ask perplexity about something, it'll give you the sources, it'll give you the images and it'll give you the response of its own. So you can always double check the information that it gives you. So you have the images, videos, it's basically a search engine. This is far better than Google in my opinion because you get the sources here, the most valuable sources that it went on to provide you with this answer. And of course, it's gonna give you the images of it and some videos on it. So yeah, this is just like a helper tool as a bonus tip. If you can apply yourself to all of these, Whenever you have some free time, use that free time. It's gonna depend on your location, of course, but if you're in need of some money, this is the way to go. Wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.